He picked up his pencil. So you all have paper wraps. We're on lesson 6-4. Our objective today, just so that we're clear as to what we are learning today, is we will be able to solve equations like x minus 3 squared equals 25, in which the square of a binomial, you agree that x minus 3 is a binomial, is squared and it equals a constant. Okay? Yes. Okay, let's get there. <laughs> So, in the last section, what we did was we looked at the absolute value of binomials, and we said it equal to something. So, we saw things like x minus 3 equals 5, okay? And how did we learn how to solve this? What did we do? I should see all hands up because I know you all know how to do this. How would we solve this? Gretchen? Um, we, would we would separate the um, absolute value into two different equations. Absolutely. Um, x minus 3 equals 5, and x minus 3 equals negative 5. Excellent. And you don't need to go any farther. That's just the first step, and then you would solve out for x. Okay? Um, now, in this section, like I wrote in the objective, we're learning how to solve x minus 3 squared equals 25, okay? Well, let's look at this for a second. Suppose I had the square root of negative 7 squared. Can anybody walk me through how you would solve that? Okay, what would I do? It would absolutely be positive 7. Let me walk through the steps of why that would be, okay? You are ultimately then taking the square root of negative 7 times the square root of negative 7. Do we agree that a negative times a negative is a positive? Yes. Giving us the square root of 49. The square root of 49 is really just 7. Right? Yeah. So we could just say that the square root of negative 7 squared is really just the absolute value of negative 7. Okay? This is on page 225 in your textbook if you want to look into that. We already know that the square or the absolute value of negative 7 will give us that same positive 7 that we evaluated here. Therefore, and this is a definition or that we need to know. If we have, and I'll put it over here, the square root of a number squared, it will be equal to the absolute value of that number. That's very important to have written down in your notes. Can't see it? So let's go to our objective again, and let's take that equation that we started with here. Raise your hand when you think you know. 
I heard it, but I want to hand that. Vanna, do you want to take a guess? Perfect. And what is the square root of 25? Now, is this equation in a form that we're familiar with? It is, right? It's absolutely. This is now just lesson 6-3, right? So if we have x minus 3, the absolute value of x minus 3 equals 5, how will I solve that? Do you want to walk me through again? You separate the, the equation into two equations, x minus 3 equals 5, and x minus 3 equals negative 5. Absolutely. Now, how will I solve that? Who wants to walk me through solving these two equations? Go ahead, Paige. Well, the first one, you add 3 to both sides, and you get x equals 8. And on the second one, you add 3 to both sides, and you get x equals negative 6. And then write that equal 8. The solution to that is? 8 comma negative 6. Perfect. Questions?